Hey there, in this video we are going to continue to look at the equation y equals x squared. So let's go ahead and make the graph of this. Remember my x values are along the horizontal axis and we're going to be squaring each x value from right here. So if x is 3, 3 squared is 3 times 3 which is 9. Right over here. 2 squared is 4. Right here and 1 squared is 1 right here. 0 squared is just 0. And the negative values, well let's do those real quick. Negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1, which is just 1, right here. Negative 2 squared is 4, right here. And negative 3 squared is 9, right here. So this looks like the letter U. Give it as good as I can. And this is the graph of the equation y equals x squared in blue. This is called our parent function, our original function. Now what I want to do is move this graph or translate it up three units. So what do you think I would do with the equation if I want to move all the points on this graph up three units? Well, the new equation would look like this. I would add 3 to the x squared value, x squared plus 3. We're, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now remember, my x squared values are over here on this axis. So I'm going to add 3 to each one of these values from right here. So let's do that. Here the x squared value is 9. It's 9 plus 3. Well, that's 12. So I'm going to translate this point up to 12 right here. Let's do it over here. This x squared value is 4. What's 4 plus 3? That's 7. So this translates up to 7. Right? What about here? This x squared value is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Right over here. So you can see I'm just translating each point up 3 units. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And so on. So let's do it with 0. 0 is just translated up to 3. Same thing here. I'll just translate this up 3 units. 1, 2, 3. And again, that should make sense to you because the x squared value is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, which shows up right here. Translate this up 3, 1, 2, 3. And I'll translate this up 3, 1, 2, 3. So that's how you translate or shift up, a, up the graph of y equals x squared. So if you had to go ahead and describe this transformation right here, you would say that the parent function, which is in blue, the y equals x squared, was translated up three units. Now, let's say I wanted to just, for fun, translate the graph in blue down three units. What do you think I would do with this equation? Remember, we're always going back to this equation, the parent function. What do you think I would do with this equation if I wanted to translate the blue graph down three units? Well, hopefully you're thinking, I will subtract 3 from the x squared value. So this equation here moves it up 3 units. And this equation here moves the parent function, y equals x squared, down 3 units. Let's look at another situation where I want to move the graph left and right. And this is the most confusing. This is where I see the most mistakes because you kind of got to think backwards here. But let's say I wanted to take the parent function, which I already have graphed, y equals x squared, and I wanted to take the graph and translate it to the left three units. Well, since we're moving it left and right now, we have to add or subtract something from the x values. The x values are now going to change. And this is what the equation would look like you would replace the x with x plus 3 and then bring down your squared. So when you replace the x with x plus 3, it moves the graph left 3 units. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, this should move it right. But I'll explain later why you have to think backwards here. So again, you should know that when we're moving a graph left and right, you have to do something with the x value. So let's go ahead now and move each point left 3 units. So I'll start here, and I'll move this point left three units. One, two, three. And you should notice now that the x values are changing. Here the x value is three, and now the x value is zero. So it's a little different than the previous one. Let's move this point left three units. One, two, three. And again, the x values are changing now. The x value here was two, and the new x value is 
minus 1. And let's continue this process. 1, 2, 3. I'm just moving each point the left 3 units. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Right here. 1, 2, 3. And one more to go. 1, 2, 3. So the graph in red, and I obviously did something wrong here. I can see it. Let me do this. I move this point. I meant to move this point. I need to move this left three. One, two, three. There we go. That looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and graph this now. And the graph in red is y equals x plus three, that whole quantity squared. So if you had to describe this transformation, you would say the parent function y equals x squared was translated left three units. Now, let me explain why this isn't x minus three. I'm going to pick a point on this um, new graph, the red graph. How about if I pick this point? What are the coordinates of this point here? Well, let's see. I'll go back to my origin, and it's to the left, 6, up, 9. So the coordinates of this point are negative 6, 9. And this would be my x value and my y value. And what I'm going to do is plug these into this equation. And you're going to see it's going to work out. It'll come out true. So let's go ahead and replace this y with 9 equals. And then I'll replace this x with the negative 6 right here. So this becomes negative 6. Bring down your plus 3. Bring down your squared. And watch, this is going to check out. 9 equals, well, let's see, what's negative 6 plus 3? That's negative 3, and I'll square it. And it's, it works out. Look, 9 equals negative 3 squared, because negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. So this checks out. That tells me this equation works. You could pick other points on the, on the graph to make sure that they check. Now, let's say I use this equation instead. Let's say instead of using this one, I used this equation. I'll put it in. Let's see. Because a lot of people think that the red graph here, the equation should be y equals x minus 3 squared because it moved left. Well, let's pick this point on the graph. And you're going to see this equation doesn't check out. So I'll plug in 9 for y equals, I'll replace this x with negative 6. Bring down your minus 3 and square it. And watch what happens. 9 equals, let's see, what's negative 6 minus 3? That's negative 9 squared. And 9 does not equal negative 9 squared because negative 9 squared is 81. So this doesn't work out. That's why this equation here does not work. So be careful with these horizontal translations. They're tricky. I just wanted to explain why it works that way. Hopefully that made sense to you. But what you need to understand is when it's y equals the quantity x plus 3 squared, the graph moves left 3 units. Left 3. How do you think I would move the graph in blue right 3 units? Just again, I'm, if I look at the parent function. How do you think, what would the new equation be if I wanted to move it instead of left three units? I meant to say you wanted to move this right three units. How do you think I would change this equation? Well, hopefully you're thinking this. I would replace the x here with x minus three. And this would move everything to the right three units. So a little confusing. I'll let you think about that. Let's go and just kind of review what we've done. If we have the parent function y equals x squared and we want to move this parent function up three units, do you remember what we do? Well, you would add three to the x squared, right? This moves it up three units. This one right here, this plus three moves it up three units. What if I wanted to look at the, go back to the parent function? I'm always looking at the parent function. What if I wanted to take this parent function and move it down three units? What would the new equation be? Oops, I made a mistake here again. I'm making some. I meant to put x squared here. Don't ask me why I put an x cubed. I was thinking of something else. This should be x squared. My bad. So let's go ahead and continue. So y equals. If I wanted to move this down three units, I would subtract three from the x squared value, and that would move it down three units. So these kind of make sense. These are the tricky ones. The next one. If I wanted to move the parent function to the left 3, right, 
I would add 3 to the x value. And this would move it left 3 units. Now make sure you understand the difference between this one here and this one here, right? When the 3 is attached to the x, it's a horizontal movement. And you got to think backwards on this one. And if the 3 is at the end of the equation like this, this is the one that moves it up and down. So make sure you see the difference there. And what if I wanted to move the graph to the right 3 units? I would replace this x with x minus 3. And those are the big transformations. This would move it right 3 units. Let's look at one more situation. Um, let's say I had the parent function y equals x squared. And I had this equation. Let me keep these in the same color. Let's say I had y equals x squared and I had this equation. How would you describe the transformations here that occur to the parent function? Well, hopefully you're thinking that this x minus 1 right here would move everything to the right one unit. So there'd be a translation right one unit. And what would this plus 4 at the end of the equation do? Right here, that would move everything up 4 units. So in this situation, there would be two transformations that are occurring. Well, I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.